steak for supper. When I'm all by myself and there isn't a crowd, I guess that I sometimes get thinking out loud. And I guess I was talking while steering my feet on the way home for supper down Mulberry Street. And I must have been thinking about what I would eat, cause I shouted out loud with all of my might that we always have steak every Saturday night. My father had warned me, don't babble, don't bray, for never you can tell who might hear what you say. My father had warned me, boy, button your lip, and I guess that I should have, I made a bad slip, cause the minute I said we had steak for our meal, I noticed an icker behind at my heel, and that icker was trailing me home for a bite of the steak that we have every Saturday night. I got sort of worried, our steaks are quite small, and we had none to spare for that icker at all. Then I really got worried, for the next thing I knew, the icker was talking and babbling too. That icker was waving his wing at a gritch. Come on, he was calling, they're terribly rich. They've plenty of steak and they'll cook it just right, cause they always have steak every Saturday night. Then the grit started giving the come along sign, inviting a grickle to get in the line. Join up, called the grit, for I'm sure they'll be able to set one more place at their dining room table. An icker, a grit, and a grickle to feed, my mother I knew would be angry indeed, and I groaned and I knew that I hadn't been bright. When I bragged that we had steak every Saturday night. And then, then the Grico called out to a napper. They always have steak for their Saturday supper. <laughs> Good gracious, I gasped. How the news gets around. And steak so expensive, a dollar a pound. A napper for supper, a gritch and a Grico, and also an icker. Oh boy, what a pickle. I shivered. I wondered what father would do. When I walked in the house with that terrible crew, when father saw them, there's a very good chance, then I'd likely get wailed on the seat of my pants. And I guess if I did, it would serve me quite right, cause I blabbled we had steak every Saturday night. And the very next second I groaned, oh good grief, when the Napa called out to a pair of wild weef. Come on, you wild weave, what a party we'll make for Saturday's supper. They always have steak. What a mess, two wild weave, a nupper, an icker, a gritch and a grickle. I'll never feel sicker. I knew that moment I walked through the door. My mother would faint and my father would roar. And tomorrow they'd send me to one of their schools where they train boys how to not act like fools. I reached for the doorknob. I trembled with fright, all because I'd said, stick every Saturday night. I opened the door, then I stopped with a sniff. I smelt what was cooking. I took a big whiff. The icker stopped also and sniffed at that smell. And so did the weef and the nupper as well. The grit and the grickle, they stopped and sniffed too. And the moment we sniffed it, we all of us knew that the stuff that we sniffed wasn't steak, it was stew. The butcher who spent it had a mistake for Saturday's supper. We didn't have steak. Just stew, gulped the grickle. Just stew? Pooh! I say, if they only have stew, I don't think I will stay. Stew? They all snorted out loud in disgust, and they all disappeared in one big cloud of dust. What luck I should save all alone in the hall. My mother and dad haven't seen them at all. And from that night to this, I never have made slips. I don't talk when I walk, cause I've buttoned my lips. The End <laughs>